Hi there, everyone. It is currently the 5th of October 2013, about 11 a.m. Japan Standard Time when making this video update. This is the radar imagery out of Okinawa, Hanto. Okinawa right here, Naha on the southern tip of that island, and we are seeing some of the strongest rain bands uh, yet to be seen from the storm system pushing across Okinawa, Hanto here, and that is still about 100 kilometers north removed from the center of circulation, which is down here towards the south. Sustained winds in that center, uh, likely upwards of about a strong Category 1 to Category 2 typhoon. JMA has it about 70 up to 100 knots at this time. JTWC a little bit stronger. I have to lean a little bit more to JTWC. I mean, we've been seeing wind gusts up to about 144 kilometers per removed from the center of circulation off towards the Amami Islands here north of Okinawa. So, yeah, some pretty intense weather coming out of the storm system today. Uh, reports of power outages in some areas there on Okinawa, Hanto, and the worst of the weather really hasn't pushed on shore yet for Miyakojima, which is farther out there towards the west. Now, as the good news as far as the track, it really is in line with what we were saying uh, about three to four days ago of it moving between Miyakojima and Okinawa. So uh, pretty good as far as the forecast. Right now it looks like it's going to waver here and move just north of Miyakojima, basically raking the island with that outer eye wall on the southern periphery of the storm here. And you can already see some of those outer rain bands already pushing on shore. And that's where we're going to be expecting the most intense winds. Some of the eye, though, is going to be pushing just along the southern tip of Naha here. So typhoon strength winds very well possible there as our storm system pushes down there towards the south really during the early afternoon hours here on Saturday through the evening hours still expect tropical storm strength winds and then through the overnight hours conditions will be gradually improving across not only Okinawa Hanto but also Miyakojima going through the overnight hours and by uh, Sunday morning it's actually going to be located off here towards the west with those improving conditions behind it. And a lot of dry air on the southern periphery of this, so that's going to wrap around the storm system rather quickly as well. Then it's going to move out here towards, uh, well, the east coast of China. Looks like the bulk of it should miss northern Taiwan, and that's the good news because if it does make a direct hit on Taiwan, as we've seen with storm systems in the past, uh, it causes a tremendous amount of rainfall and the risk of landslides and flooding. But at least at this time, it doesn't look like so much that's going to be the case. But around Wenzhou, even extend out there towards Zhejiang, uh, you're going to be seeing uh, these uh, typhoon strength winds very well likely, but also just the heavy amount of rainfall. These areas in the red uh, just indicating upwards about three inches uh, in just the course of a few hours. So some pretty heavy rain three to four hundred millimeters likely in some areas here over the course of the next several days after this pushes on shore this is just showing that precip uh, really pushing farther towards the west now the good news is that do expect after the storm makes landfall just due to a large amount of vertical wind shear in the northern periphery the friction out here uh, it, it, the winds are going to significantly decrease in intensity going through the day here on Sunday. So um, that's the good news as far as that near coastal areas, but it is going to drop a lot of rain. Now, rain in its wake, you can see it here on the eastern side of the screen. Uh, we have Donas, which is going to be pushing off here, and that's very well going to be running directly over Okinawa Hanto. Now, the good news... Uh, that's from the GFS actually pulling a little bit farther there towards the north now. But the good news is that it's going to be a much weaker storm system. So even though we're going to be seeing a direct landfall over Okinawa Island here, uh, if this scenario plays out, the winds actually could be a little bit less intense than what we are seeing with Fito. So with that said, JTWC is keeping the intensity a little bit stronger. And as far as the forecast and intensity, much stronger than uh, JMA. They have about 90 maxing out, about 110 knots here. Uh, when that storm system just starts to recurve off there towards the north. JMA, on the other hand, saying about 50 up to about 65 so they're keeping at a tropical storm intensity in the forecast going to be interesting how it plays out i think a typhoon is possible i mean conditions out ahead of this storm system are the same conditions that are in place now for fito allowing that to intensify we have warm sea surface temperatures low vertical wind shear in here good exhaust aloft the high pressure ridge off here towards the north is going to keep it down there towards the south now it depends on how weak that high pressure ridge starts to weaken once the storm pushes towards the west because it could recurve and 
impact the Amami Islands vice going right over Okinawa. I do think it's going to stay north of Naha at the very least at this time. So something to watch through the coming days. But really, uh, impact on the southern Japanese islands from Okinawa towards the Amami Islands uh, very well likely at this time. So you want to continue to keep a very close eye on it throughout much of these areas. Now, do I expect a full intense on storm system even if it does make direct landfall? Probably not. And like I said, the winds may be less intense than Vito, which has been bringing these wind gusts uh, upwards and over 100 kilometers per hour in some areas out here. So we're definitely going to continue to keep a very close eye on this throughout the day today. Full coverage here at westernpacificweather.com. Also, James Reynolds out here in Miyakojima. Stay uh, put here on our Facebook page at Westpac Weather or just on the website. We're going to continue to uh, relay his information as he puts it out here uh, as that storm really pushes directly over Miyakojima. And it looks like the worst of the weather is going to be there as it pushes off there towards the west. So with that said, that is all for right now, everybody. Thanks again for watching here at westernpacificweather.com. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, post them down in the comment box below. And as always, stay safe out there.